In this video, I want to show you a fan cart. So a fan cart, uh, basically on the bottom side, you can see that there's a battery, a couple AA batteries. There's a motor up here, and it's got a little fan blade. If I turn it on, the blade rotates. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is first, I've got a Kleenex, I'm gonna turn it on. Let's see what happens when I turn the fan cart on. Okay, so you can see you can see that the air is blowing to the left. So we got air blowing to the left. If I uh, turn this on again, air is blowing to the left and I've got on the left here, I've got another fan cart and I'm going to put a plate on this one right here. And let's see if this one can blow that one. Okay, so move this here. I'm gonna turn this on. Okay, so you can see clearly that there's air blowing towards the left. This blade is pushing air from the right towards the left. Now let's see what happens if I let go of this cart. Which way will the cart go? So the air is blowing to the left. Let's see which way the cart goes. Okay, so you can see that when I turn it on, it goes in the opposite direction that the air is moving. Air is going to the left, cart goes to the right. All right, so this is demonstration of Newton's third law. Uh, as air is getting pushed to the left by the fan cart, the reaction for it is, is that the air is pushing the cart to the right. Uh, now, next we're going to uh, have this fan cart. This is also a fan cart, same thing, except it's got a plate. Now, this air that's pushing to the left is causing the cart to go to the right. However, it also has this plastic plate here. So the air is pushing this plate to the left, but yet the fan is pushing air to the left, and we know Newton's Law says that it's gonna push this uh, fan cart to the right. So what's gonna happen if both of them are occurring at the same time? Let's take a look. All right, so you can see that it doesn't go anywhere. And so you can think of the forces as being balanced. So the fan cart pushing to the air to the left, that air is pushing the fan cart to the right. That force is balanced by the force of the air pushing this plate to the left, and those forces are balanced. Okay, so I'm gonna remove this. And now I've got two carts. Um, they're gonna be facing towards each other. This one's gonna, I flip this around, this one's gonna go to the left, okay. And this one's gonna go to the, go, go to the right. We're gonna turn them both on at the same time. Let's see what happens. Okay, so you can see that they didn't go anywhere. And why is that? Well, because uh, the forces uh, are balanced. This is pushing this, this guy th this way, and this is pushing this guy that way. And so the forces are balanced, and um, so they're not moving anywhere. Let's take a look at a ramp here. Uh, one thing you could do is try to figure out what is the amount of force um, on here? Because the angle, we would need to know the angle, and this is kind of an interesting demo here. I'm going to first turn on, so moving to the left, and I'm gonna try to lift this up and see what angle, at what angle uh, will this remain stationary and not go up? Let's see here. All right, so now we're going to calculate the amount of force that this uh, fan cart is able to exert. And so we're gonna do that by using this angle right here. We'll call this angle theta. By knowing that angle, we can actually figure out the force of this fan cart. What I'm gonna do right now is to draw a force diagram. And I'm just gonna do it uh, right here on the side here. And uh, so right here, there's gonna be a force going straight down. Uh, this is FG, gravitational force. There's a force perpendicular, perpendicular to the surface, and that's the normal force. That's gonna be in this direction right here. Call that Fn. And uh, we're gonna assume that there's a uh, negligible friction. So we're gonna ignore friction for now, okay. Um, and so uh, the forces we know are gonna be balanced uh, because this fan cart was not moving uh, when I tipped it at this angle. Uh, so I'm going to um, uh, extend, I'm going to break this into components. You notice these are non-components, so I'm gonna break them into components. And so I have a vertical component to have this component right here, okay. And I also have this component right here. All right, so this 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 force right here is made up of these two components, this x and y component. Okay, now I know that uh, there's also a it's, it's on a surface, so the surface is 
here's the uh, the surface or the the ramp right here okay and uh this is theta okay so this is theta right here right now this angle right here right this angle is going to be the same as this angle right here these two are going to be equal okay so if you think about it um this is a right triangle and um this plus this angle has equal 90 degrees right and then so also this right here is a right triangle okay so so this uh needs to also equal this plus this also needs to equal 90 degrees um because uh this this right here is a right triangle so these two have to add up to 90 degrees this is a right triangle um and these two have to add up to 90 degrees so we're using the same um angle here um so we know that these two angles have to be the same all right okay so there's also the uh force of the fan as well i forgot to draw that in there so let's go ahead and do that the fan here's the force from the fan right here and we'll call this f um f fan for right now okay so um because this object is not moving what we know is that uh the forces are balanced that means these two forces are going to be balanced okay and these two forces are ha have to be balanced okay so therefore uh the force of the fan is equal to now this is component of f of fg so that component is uh since fg is equal to mg is equal to mg and this is using us uh, uh, our trig so it's opposite so we're going to use sine so this is going to be uh mg sine theta so this side will be mg sine theta this side would be mg cosine theta so mg cosine theta would equal the normal force uh, but the fan force will equal mg sine theta so this is mg sine theta okay now i did mass um, the cart as well as find the angle so the uh, cart mass was 177 grams but we got to make sure to convert that to kilograms of so 0.177 kilograms so this is 0.177 kilograms times 9.8 times sine theta and theta uh, was five degrees so i calculate that it came out to five degrees and so if i do that calculation i get point uh and round it to 0.15 newtons okay now is it exactly 0.15 newtons no it's not exactly because there was some friction so even though i i measured this to be five degrees if i move it slightly higher or a little bit lower it would actually have stayed there because it it there is a little bit of friction um but it gives you a ballpark idea that that's the amount of friction approximate amount of friction of the uh, amount of force amount of force of the fan 